That's right. We are in the Rochelle kitchen on this Friday morning. My buddy Jerry DuPont is here. Edible Creations by Jerry, and he has brought one of my favorites. It is always delicious. Last time he made it, he brought a big pan in. I brought some home, gave it to my kids. They loved it. My mother and father-in-law loved it as well. Chicken Santa Fe is on the is on the is on the menu. Good nice to see, to see you. you, man. Good to see I you. I feel so underdressed. <laughs> I don't like this well, coat. It's all, it's all good. I would rather be in the t-shirt, but I you know don't have much of a choice. How are you? Awesome. How are you? Good. Good to Thanks see you. All right. Me. Tell us what we need to. Uh, to have to kind of put this uh, dish together. You know me well. Right. Simple, simple. Simple and easy. It's um, basically four ingredients, five ingredients. Yep. Chicken, any kind of chicken you, you want. Got I happen it. to use individual breasts because we are serving, you know, buffet style. So, you know. It's easy for people to grab. Right. People right. can just grab, yeah. grab yep. one. Yep. Um, fresh salsa. You can use jarred. Yeah. I do use jarred. Right. Occasionally. You're not there chopping everything up? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I bought this from BJ. All right, you think I'm chopping up salsa? Luck. Whatever works. I, I don't have I don't have a team. Got of, it. Of uh, of little worker bees. Right. Uh, Mexican cheese. Yeah. A little bit of olive oil, and this is yellow rice. Okay. And taco fajita. All right, that's it. See, that's it. That's it. So what are we gonna do with this? We're gonna kind of like take that uh, chicken, kind of like fry want, it up a little do bit. Do I'm gonna fry it now? No, yeah, can you turn it on? We'll get the we'll get the pan pan hot and stuff. Get get that going just a Basically, little bit. Basically, you want to um, get it nice and hot. Put spices on both sides. Right. And put that and, in. And um, I like to get a little char to the chicken. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. And I know a lot that's, of times. That's the way I made your own. Yeah, a lot time. of places you can go, and obviously the chicken's either already cooked or something like that, which also makes it makes it a lot easier. So what is that? Uh, what's that spice you got going? Fajita. Oh, um, fajitas. Taco. Taco stuff. Yep. Oh, good. Nice, nice. So we'll let that go and let that sit there for just a little bit. And Basically. Jerry's very busy. Every time you, if you follow him on uh, on social media, he is uh, he's doing a lot of catering events. A lot of if you are owning, if you own a business and want like a luncheon or a something like of, that. A lot of corporate. A lot yep. of corporate events uh, that he's also doing. He mixes, uh, you know, from eight. To busy, 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 busy. <laughs> ton of different events that he's doing so it kind of takes the work out of everything that you need to do we will talk to jerry about that in just a little bit and we will give this a try because i'm telling you it is delicious back to you we are back in the roadshow kitchen on this friday morning one of our favorites jerry dupont is here edible creations by jerry and we've got chicken santa fe on the uh, on the menu today it's one of my favorites it really is every time jerry makes it it's uh, it's so delicious so thanks for coming in and Thank thanks you. for thanks Thank for making again it. for having do me. you want to uh, just kind of like go over and tell everybody once again what we need for this obviously you need chicken right because it's not chicken santa fe without chicken right <laughs> you can, well you can it doesn't have to be chicken breast okay i mean you can buy if, if you have a rotisserie chicken at home left over just pull Break it, it apart. apart put it in a casserole dish sprinkle it with some uh, taco seasoning salsa on top right she, I was telling Audrey that because she has a family of like 42 <laughs> they, they, you know, they're all crammed I'm in like, a, like make, a, make a big casserole sure right and throw it in the oven and all you have to do is melt the cheese and, and that's it's it done. that's it so basically I sauteed this put that breast, in it right the chicken and then we're just going to top it with some salsa. salsa that I did not chop. Okay. Could have told me you did, and I would have believed you. I know. <laughs> and some cheese. Okay. And that's a blend of different cheeses, too, right? Like, I mean, if you were yep. going to make a taco or something yep. like that, you get the blended cheese. This has Monterey Jack in it. Got it. Actually, um, cheddar. Okay. And that's the. That's what dish. it looks like this. So, this is your here. lunch, Will. Oh, that is my lunch. So, what are we going to put this oven on to? Uh, um, to I put it on 400. All right. And literally, you five to six seven eight minutes right it'll be nice and because you just want to let that cheese kind of melt yep. get a little crispy on top and you're and you're good to go that's it now one of the other things we tell you about jerry all the time too is that uh he does a ton of catering a bunch of events if you He's own lying. a business if you know you i'm not lying it's the truth you do you do i see you posting stuff all the time i'm lying because i got four minutes to fill no he really he really does he say right there it says it on the sign if, you, if you've got a sign it makes it legitimate uh he does catering events. If you're having a, a party or something like that and you want somebody to cater this event, it's in the name, Edible Creations by Jerry. He can come over and, you know, kind of like whip something up for you. And Everything from food. soup to nuts. And you, As my client last weekend, though, he said to me, um, he, he was telling all his guests at the Celebration of Life that it's one-stop shopping. Right. Because we organized the tent. I commissioned the uh, professional bar service. 
commission the floors, the linens, the tables, the chairs. So you the, do it all. Everything. That makes it so much easier for I someone too. Don't have any hair left, but it went off without a hitch. There is there is nothing wrong with not having any hair left. And that, we got like I don't know six or seven jobs out of that. That that's even better. Right. And you said you maybe you're going to be moving to. We actually we're moving to Warwick. Okay. For anybody that right. Not Warwick. No, you're moving to Westport. Right. You're Sorry. in Warwick now. We're in Warwick now. Right. right. <laughs> moving to Westport, Mass. Got it. Uh, hopefully by the end of. September. So, because a lot of your clients are over on the, on this side of the pond, it's it's grown, right? It's it's you know, Barnstable, uh, Hyannis, Plymouth, Taunton, Brockton, right, Stoughton. Yeah, it's all in that band. So. Right. And you also do a ton of well, I mean, you know, he's he brought them in today. A bunch of delicious uh, desserts too that you make too. F famous, and I famous cinnamon sticks. You do, do cinnamon sticks and a bunch of other things too. So if someone is having a party, not only would you cook cook different meals like this, but you can also cook desserts. Dessert too. comes with it. Right. That's also great. Yeah. All right. How far in advance if someone is having an event because. Well, that time, you know, people well, want to do stuff. How far in advance do you need to know? Because look, I see some posts that you have, and there are people, <laughs> there are people who wait till the last minute mm -hmm. and think you're going to perform a miracle. They and that does my last nerve. Right, and that does do. not, that cannot happen all the time. You need uh, a little, you more than a 15 minute notice. It's like, hey Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Right, you know, right. Um, and, and I've done it many, many, sure. many times. Do I like to do that? No. no. Right. Because it, it, it um, minimizes my... Prep. Well prepped right. clients, right? And you know, it, it's not fair to them. It's not fair to them for well. telling me a month in advance, right? But you know, I mean, if worse comes to worse, yes, I will do last minute. But it, it's great to have a week or two, right? Um, something large, many months in advance, right? In advance, so that he can mm -hmm. be ready. So if yep. you are interested in having a party, you can go on to his website, Edible Creations by Jerry. Check that out and see what he has. You've got delicious rice there. I'm going to check on this. Let's see how this is. Which, oh, you done. Know, I think that's done. Ta-da! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna. I have uh, l delicate hands. <laughs> I'm actually. Gonna, I'm gonna grab a better mitt. I could probably this. take it out with you my hands. You grab me a piece of. Cloth. You grab me a paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a paper towel. That's not gonna work. Uh, All right, let's take this out. Ooh, this looks delicious. Put this over here. There we go. Huh? Awesome. How about we'll put that there so Eric can get a shot of that? Put that right there. That. Looks delicious. Thanks, buddy, for coming in today. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for Sorry. I didn't want to get all over it, on it, you. It's okay. If you would like the recipe for this or more information about how to get a hold of Jerry so he can whip up something nice for a party or an event that you are happy, he does, he does breakfast as well, you can head on over to our website. That is Roadshow.com. Roadshow yes. Nice job. Com. Nice, nice job.